Line is one of the fundamental design elements. Line is part of everything in nature and also in man-made things. How does nature create line as opposed to human creation? Line in nature is pure perception. We see lines as edges or as objects against a background. As opposed to nature, we actually make lines. We draw or paint them, make them with pens or pencils, design with them in our communication, and create art with them. We make infinite lines every day and we don't even know it. We kind of take them for granted. So let's make some lines now and then analyze them. Make a line on a piece of paper. It can be with any material, just draw a line and make a mark. To make a mark is to make a commitment to communicate. You are expressing yourself and that may influence others. There are four directions to line, and each one expresses or communicates ideas. Some are universal, others can vary by culture. First we have horizontal, calm, stable, constant. Then we have vertical, bold, uplifting, strong, and vibrant. Diagonal communicates motion and movement, chaos, action. Curvilinear is flowing, never-ending, continuous, or birth and rebirth metaphor. Once we make a line, we need to consider the quality of the line, how well the line is made, or what the line looks like. Is it thick? Is it thin? Organic? Geometric? Further communicates an idea. Organic lines tend to be perceived as more natural, than geometric lines. When you combine thick and thin lines, or very lines within itself, then the idea of change is perceived. Lines can create texture, or visual texture, or they can be part of texture. They are essential in creating pattern. But when do lines become form? Lines become form when the lines are so essential to the design they are primarily the dominant design element in the making of the object. They become the form themselves. Lines can also be symbolic or metaphorical. A symbolic line represents something else by association, resemblance, or convention. A metaphorical line uses transference of meaning from one object to another. Furthermore, when lines become shapes, they also can be translated into cultural and ideographic symbols. Why is it important to create lines a certain way? We want to create expression, a communication, or a functional 3D object. We need lines to help us do all that. So you know what? Don't take lines for granted. Pay attention and make lines with intent. Mm -hmm.